So I didn't know about this story. I'm a little bit late to the party on this, but I had to talk about this after reading an article about it because, I mean, I, I don't really even know what to say. There are no words to describe how absurd this story is. So for those of you who don't know, QAnon is indeed still a thing. It doesn't matter that countless prophecies from Q have not come to fruition. There's still a lot of people, thousands of people across the country and even people internationally who buy into QAnon. But they believed that, um, or there's a portion of QAnon believers that subscribe to this idea that JFK Jr. is uh, still alive, even though he's been dead since 1999. And uh, he's not only alive, but he's going to reveal himself to the public again, and he will announce a joint presidential run with Donald Trump in 2024, and he will be Donald Trump's running mate. That's what lots of people believe, literally thousands of people believe, and you're going to get a sense of how many people believed it with the story because a reporter showed up, and the crowd here waiting for JFK Jr. to reveal himself it really makes me lose hope, not just in American society, but in humanity, more broadly speaking. So reporter Stephen Monticelli reported on this event, and he says there is currently a large crowd of what appears to be QAnon believers at the AT&T Discovery Plaza in downtown Dallas. A popular QAnon theory recently is that JFK Jr. of the Kennedy family will be making a big announcement at Dealey Plaza by the Grassy Knoll sometime tomorrow. Now, if you expand both of these photos, you can see that this is a fairly large crowd considering how absurd this conspiracy theory is. And you can see, sure enough, multiple people have on Trump Kennedy 2024 shirts. Now, I have this morbid curiosity here. I want to pick their brain, but also I don't want to do that because I'm horrified at what might lie in the depths of their fucking psychs. It, it just... To think that Trump and JFK Jr. are going to run together in 2024, it's so delusional that I, I think that it's as delusional if you thought that Trump and the Tooth Fairy were going to run together. He's been dead for decades, and you think that he's going to make himself known again? Now, if you're curious, they're not thinking that he's going to reveal himself in ghost form. They think that his death was a false flag. So they think he's still alive and maybe he's chilling on an island somewhere with Tupac. I don't know. But here's some additional details from uh, Stephen Monticelli. So he later showed up to the main event and writes, Update, I just got to Dealey Plaza. We'll be contributing to an article about the gathering for the Daily Beast. Keep an eye out for it today. Crowd is now significantly larger as we get closer to the time when JFK Jr. will ostensibly make his announcement. Having some great conversations out here. Oh boy. <laughs> 12 minutes until the big reveal. And you see that crowd, right? Now, spoiler alert. JFK Jr. never showed up. Because guess what? He's dead. He's been dead for a very long time. But that photo of the crowd that you saw, um, it's just a really tiny snapshot of the overall picture. So I'm going to play some video clips that Steven shared. And he kind of pans back and forth, and you can see how big this crowd is. And this is a lot of people that believe this batshit fucking insane thing. All these people showed up to see a dead man announce a presidential run with Donald Trump. Take a look. Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, Brandon! It is almost 12.29. Any minute now, the big reveal. The crowd is big, ready to go. We'll tell nothing but the truth to help them God. Or should they help them say, Let's go make this. Let's, Let's go, go fake news. Let's <laughs> yeah. No, he's with WFA. You know what the mainstream media, especially on TV stations like media in the country. So you know, when you got full control over that, it's like what? We got a troll over there. We got a troll. Did, did we land on the moon? No. Did we land on the moon? No. 
that is a massive crowd of people, considering what they were there for. They expected a dead man to announce that he's been alive all this time and he's running for president with Donald Trump. Now, this idea that uh, JFK Jr.'s death was a false flag, it's been circulated in conspiracy uh, in QAnon groups since 2018, I believe. But there's also a portion of QAnon followers that believe that JFK Jr. is actually Q. He's the one who's been giving them all of these prophecies, none of which have bared out. But this is what they believe. I mean, look, part of me wants to laugh, right? Because when people believe something so absurd, so ridiculous, you can't not just think that they're goofy, think that they're unserious. But it's also really depressing and really sad. If this is where we're at in the United States, how do we ever progress as a society, we have a portion of the population who thinks the 2020 election was stolen. We have a portion of the population who believes that JFK Jr. is still alive and he's running in 2024 with Donald Trump. And it doesn't matter how many times Q's prophecies are uh, disproven, they still follow this shit. How do we go forward as a society? Like, this really should force us to be introspective because these people are lost, and I don't know if we can save them from themselves. I don't know if we can ever bring them out of this conspiracy hole that they've dug for themselves. I, I just, I don't know what to do. Seeing this makes me feel uh, like we're just so fucking lost beyond and broken beyond repair in, in America. That many fucking people, hundreds of people, traveled there, traveled to Dallas to see a dead man make an announcement about the 2024 election. That is insanity. That is fucking insane. And at this point, we are so beyond what uh, the stupidity level was in the movie Idiocracy that I wouldn't be surprised if you told me that there were a portion of QAnon followers that thought that Santa Claus was going to run for election in 2028. I, I just, I wouldn't be faced by it. Throw anything at me, and I'm not going to be faced. You can tell me that fucking QAnon believers think that eating shit, eating dog shit is literally a cure for COVID, and I'd think, oh, okay, yeah, that's probably not the craziest thing that I've heard. It's just, I don't I don't know where the uh, the bottom is, right? My expectations are to the floor, and they keep getting lowered below the floor. So I just, we're reaching the Earth's core at this point with regards to my expectations. I don't know what to say. It's sad. And I laughed initially at this story, but upon further reflection, I feel genuinely depressed by this because these people are so fucking stupid. And I mean, sure, you can blame institutions, blame socioeconomic status, blame them. Uh, or blame, you know, the media for not educating people, blame the American education system for not teaching people just basic critical thinking and logic. But at the end of the day, if you are an adult, you have to bear some responsibility for what you believe and what you choose to consume. And it's clear that these people are consuming media that is rotting their fucking brains. And the prevalence of this, you know, I, I don't know... How many people overall believe in this? But if they don't believe in this conspiracy theory, they believe in another conspiracy theory about the vaccines or about the moon landing, as was shown there. It's just really sad to see. We are a broken society. And uh, I just, I feel like the thought of repairing this society is, <laughs> is impossible. I, I don't know. But yeah, that many people think that JFK Jr. is going to be running with Trump in 2024. Okay. Girly Mike Fettuccini needs your support on Patreon. What a loser. Visit patreon.com slash humanist report to support the low ratings humanist report. Sad. My views are much higher.